Hello guys, my name is Russian Badger, and allow me to tell you a story. So I was in this Bad Company 2 servers today, because 420 blaze it, it's April 20th in the United States, and I wanted to play a game with a really good smoke grenade mechanic, but it just so happened that this server happened to be really, really excessively stacked, as in unbalanced. You can look at the scoreboard right now, and I think there's no debating that there is a fine line between this server is stacked, and this server is not stacked, or unstacked, to make it sound like cups, but basically, I think the other team took that fine line between stacked and unstacked out to an alley, read it its last rights, and just shot it in the face because it's fairly unequivocal these teams were unbalanced. And I'm not even talking about, you know the server notification you get sometimes? Oh, hello, the Russian Badger. Teams are now balanced. Thanks for switch- like, come on, server, these are not balanced. And it's pretty obvious. Don't make that dramatic fall, okay? All these ragdolls in this game, for some- You're gonna see this bush monster, like, try to jump through that little skinny opening in the window, just- uh, It's an awkward situation, just please forgive me. But these stacked teams at 420, like, look, he tried to jump through the little- You can't fit through that- Blaze it, you can't fit through that little space in the window, bush monster. Like, what are you- What are you trying to do here, man? That's not the way that- Physics work, unless you can turn into, like, a caterpillar. Blaze it, which you already look like. Mr. Bush Monster, I don't think you can fit through that narrow little window, unless I'm mistaken and you're like 95% fluff or like fuzziness instead of actual like flesh, but whatever. It seemed like I was going to die because I was behind enemy lines and oh my god from downtown in the mouth! That is so terrible, but if you haven't noticed already, I decided that my team was not going to be able to hold the other team, so I was like, oh, why not just go ahead and, I don't know, just use smoke and just wait for the game to end. And then that kind of turned into, oh my god, this is actually working, all these smoke grenades. And although I missed quite a bit here, it's not really a huge deal. It's it's not that, come on, bush monster, like nobody's noticed me yet, which is just outrageous. And keep in mind that I did have that ad attitude throughout this entire game. I was planning on losing, so I was like, well... Wow, why not just grab the smoke grenade launcher and 420 blaze it and see how many kills I can get? And it turned out to be ridiculous. Oh my god, the fadeaway no look J ball. I don't even know how I got that guy. And yeah, sure, I miss a lot of guys that are moving around. Sometimes it's it really is not all that easy to do in a lot of different situations, but I'm just so glad that I picked up the grenade perk. That was totally critical to this entire process, which is making sure that Come on now, dog! I clearly hit that guy. Like kneecaps, but Still got him, still got him, worth it. Just, I'm still thinking that smoking is bad for your lungs, but at the same time, given the date, it's really not all that big of a deal. That was that catfish that was using the Sega earlier. Like, what a goof, what a goof. Why are you crouch walking around like I'm not? Whoa, my God, man. You can't stop, all right? You can't stop the rock, especially when he's blade. Oh, there he is again with his Polly Pocket Sega. That's, that's clear. You might as well just get a sign and stand in the busiest street in your city that just says, I'm a verified casual Carl and I can't use any sort of a weapon that doesn't... It aims for you, alright? Like all that buckshot is, is just opening up the area or the spread that... Just increasing the likelihood that you're going to hit something with whatever you shoot, which is just silly. Now, I'm not really sure why this still exists, but there's still this sort of invisible water thing over here. Despite the fact I got him directly in the pooper. But yeah, there's still this thing over here. I don't know if it's just BC, but it's like invisible water. I wasn't just magically... Come on, me! Milos dog! Milos is just... I, I don't even know what his deal is anymore. There is, in fact, a gentleman on the other t team by the name of EA Can Blow Me. But <laughs> I think the best part about that is that he's always playing Mad Company 2. And I'm pretty sure that he's also rank 50. So just the thought that he has that name. And I kind of saw this creep... Come on, you- Oh, the stair monster at the top of the stairs will just not stop. And I said to myself, you know what, what if I swing on over here and then I- Milos, why are you over here? Like, what the- What? What? Oh my god. Can't handle the 420 blade. Give me your sandwich, dog. That's- This- This- Okay, the dunks cannot be contained. They, they just are not- They're not ready for the smoke. They can't blaze it. They can't handle the- They can't handle the date, man. That's all- That's all this is. They can't handle the date. Now, there's a few little instances where it's like, oh my god, Milosh, just for the second time. That's the same dude. Why don't you learn how to use a window, you f Give me your sandwich, dog. That's just... A lot of this is just pure luck that I happen to have luckily... Oh, allow me to explain it this way. Pure luck that the enemies were moving about the way they did. 420 play! Oh, I missed him. That's, that's kind of a shame, but... 
Half of this is just pure luck that the enemies acted the way that they did, and then pure luck that I actually hit my shots, but I had to rub it in at the very end just because I thought it was hilarious how our team got steamrolled up until this point, but then somehow the smoke grenades were too strong and we happened to just destroy them. And I wanted to let you guys know exactly what happened with the story immediately, so I don't even have an intro or a bonus clip because I felt like this entire thing was an intro and a bonus clip, but... I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I know this is kind of spontaneous, but given the date and given what just happened and given the the amount of just sheer dunks that these guys... <laughs> I just said, I'm going to slam the dunk out of that so hard and it just happened to have occurred. So I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching. I'm sorry about my absence. I had a few little things going on in my life that weren't video games, but I will see you guys next time. Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald und Seder.